Dennis has a big brown eye. <laughs> So welcome back to the Blood Outdoor Show guys and thank you for joining me on another Friday night video. Today I'm just out for a walk with my dog Dennis and I'm going to take you for a look at three of my previous stealth camping spots. The first one we're going to come to is the one where I camped by the side of the running track with the little schmickaroonie. The second one I'm going to show you is when I camped in the bushes right next to the fire station and the third one I'm going to show you is one of me really popular ones probably is the most daring one I did it was the one I camped next to McDonald's when I walked through the drive through I'm not going to walk through the drive through again guys but I will show you exactly where I camped and you'll be able to see in real life you know not when I'm out on an adventure and I'm saying oh how are you let's go stealth camping just Real life now, during the day, out with the dog, I'll show you the stealth camping spots and you can see how hard it was for us to camp there and how close I was to people. Anyway, that's enough of me talking shit for the time being. I'll bring your manding was back in a minute. How are you? Oh. That one. The local ski centre guys there's been quite a few people recommending us to camp up on the top of there i think that'll be a good spot probably something i'll do over the next few weeks camping on top of a ski slope sounds like a good one you know it makes sense all righty we're not too far away now from the the running track just over that Hill there, and we'll be there. Right. Sorry, Dennis. Looks like we're going to have to walk round the edge. How is son? Well, you're good looking. Yeah, so when me and Mick camped here, we um, we camped all the way over in the far corner, over there. Um, up there where the car park is, all night, you'll get young'uns turning up and just sitting listening to music or doing whatever they're doing. But we thought if we camp over there, once it's pitch black, no one's going to see us. There was no bushes or anything like that for us to come behind so we just timed it right till it was nearly dark when we got here there was people on the track doing a bit running so we just had to walk round we sat over there and we had a couple of canned dingoes man dingoes i'll show you that when we get over um this that video the running track video hasn't got many views compared to some of the other stealth camps which I don't understand because it was a cracking little video and obviously I had a little Mick with us which is always good so if you haven't watched that one guys do me a favour, go back and check it out I'm sure you'll enjoy it I'll bring you back when we get over to the camping spot nice yeah so like I said when me and Mick got here, there was already people on the running track. So we didn't just want to go straight onto the track side and set the tent up. And then for someone to grass us up and then we'd get moved on. So we just sat round here, we had a couple of cans. And then when the coast was clear, we'd go into our spot. If this fat lad can get over the fence here. Oh. Oh. Jesus 
Christ, I'm nearly pulling a bloody hamstring. There you go. <laughs> Why I'm fit. Yeah, this is where we're camped. As you can see, we're right by the side of the running track. And we just had the tent down here. As far as camping spots, stealth camping spots is concerned, it was a great spot. You'll have noticed on some of the other videos, I'm camping in some minging places. So this was a really nice spot. Up there, you've got a path that runs past the dog walkers. What we just thought, once it's late and it's dark, there's probably going to be no one walking past. And if we just sit quiet and enjoy a few beers and a few whiskies, we'll be okay. That was our main concern up there where the car park is. But I went for a walk up there once we were set up and it was dark. And I looked back down, like in this direction, and you just couldn't see a thing. Obviously, the tent was there, little Mick was sat outside, and then um, it was just sheer darkness. You couldn't see a thing. Anyway, guys, that's this camp. That's This is where we're camped, next to the side of running track. Make sure you go back and check that video out. I'm going to get my handsome dog, Messi, and we're now going to go off to the next stealth camping spot I'm going to show you, which is the one when I was in the bushes next to the fire station. You know what I'm talking about. Are we? Okay, folks, I've just made the short walk from the running track up to the fire station here. Five or six minutes, pretty close. The next one's gonna be even closer. Obviously that's the fire station in front and Matty J spot is just behind. Anyway, that's the fire station guys. Where I camped, it's just in these bushes here. Quick look, hard to get in at the minute. Loads of shite here. Ah, you kind of get in. Um, sorry, Dennis, I'm just going to reach in. There you go, guys. This is where I was. Obviously, I've just come off the path. That's how close I was to the path, to people passing by. And the fire station's just there. Where I could hear the legends who work there were in and out. But um, it was a class place to camp. Absolutely class. There was people walking past right next to us that had no idea I was there. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Oh, matron. But I, I loved it. This was the first stealth camp I did after I'd done the roundabout one, the smallest roundabout one. That's the video that helped the channel take off. For whatever reason, I don't know why. So I followed that stealth camp up with this one, which done nowhere near as good. But I'm not complaining. You know, I don't do it for the views and that. It's nice when people do watch. I do it because I enjoy it. And hopefully you guys enjoy watching me camping and talking shite. <laughs> yeah, that's it. A quick one to show you camping next to the fire station if you haven't already checked that out guys you know what to do go back and give it a look anyway how there's we at the next one Matty j spots oh yeah So I'm not going to walk the way I did last time through the drive through I'm not going to put myself through there again. <laughs> I'll give you a quick look though. There's the drive through that I walked down. And this is the bush that I got behind. As you can see, that's how close I was to McDonald's. And this is where I camped. This is where I put my little bivvy just down there and if I'm honest it's probably my 
three of it video so far. I know I've got other videos that's got more views, but I just thought this one was absolutely class. I don't mean to <laughs> blow me on trumpet, but I've never seen anyone doing anything like it before. I've seen people camping at McDonald's where they're parking the cars up with the vans in the McDonald's car park. But I mean, that's just, that's just sleeping in your car, sleeping in your van, isn't it? I don't class that as proper stealth camping. But this, it was, it was really dodgy. You know, I had to walk past loads of cars. So I'm pretty sure people spotted us coming behind here. But at the time, I didn't have many subs. So I wasn't really getting recognized. And I think they probably just thought there was a walkway through here and I was just cutting through, you know? Or they thought, who the hell's that weirdo? <laughs> well, not bother him. You know what I'm talking about. Come here, Dennis. Come here, Dennis. Hi. So, this was an absolutely fantastic one for me personally. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I've already said twice already in today's video, if you haven't watched that one, go back and check it out I'm sure you'll enjoy it but I right, there you go guys that's three stealth camping videos wait three stealth camping spots I've showed you today now I'm gonna go and get myself a coffee from McDonald's and then I'm gonna walk home so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave you legends to watch a few bloopers off the last few videos I hope you enjoy them Apologies for the bad language. There's quite a bit swearing in them. Yep, enjoy the bloopers, guys. I will bring you Mandingo's back in a couple of minutes. And then on the way home, we might as well answer a little question. Then, when I get home, I'm going to jump in the back of the old rusty John Claude Van Sexual and we'll have a little waski and do a world famous waski with you. You better believe I will. <laughs> right. Ho oh, ho yeah! You know what I'm talking about, Mandingo. Oh, that was fucking shit. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> oh, and fuck off. Some Steven fucking Spielberg. So that's it, guys. We're all packed away. My bag's there, ready to put on my back. The bin diesel's there with all our shite. Leave no trace. Mix ready to go. <laughs> and that's where we had the. T that's where. Oh man, here. Fuck off, man. Start again. Fucking hell. So that's it, folks. That's the end of this week's. Stealth camping video. I've loved every minute of it. See you enjoyed it? I've loved it as well. Class mate. That's what it's all about, man dingoes. If you have <laughs> Oh man here, for fuck's sake. Start again, Mick. Right folks, that's the end of this video and nearly the end of our little holiday been absolutely fantastic and perfect four nights away in Cumbria yeah, the log cabins called line view log cabin I'll try and leave a link for that in the description of this video and then if anyone's interesting interesting for fuck's sake let's start again <laughs> cheers well, Mandingos, that's the end of this video and almost the end of our little four nights away in Cumbria. It's been absolutely fantastic, absolutely perfect. Loved every minute of it. We've had some great family days out. My granddaughter came over to see us, so that was brilliant. Some nice meals out. Um, for fuck's sake. <coughs> Fucking hell. Cheers, man, dingoes. 
Well, that's the end of this week's Friday night video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had an absolutely fantastic four nights away in Cumbria in this brilliant log cabin. Line view log cabin it's called. I'll try and leave a link in the description of this video and then if you want to check it out, you can. It's brilliant man, honestly. All the land you've got in the log cabin is fantastic as well. Can I complain at all? Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I've already fucking said that, haven't I? Right, fucking last time. <sighs> Cheers, man, dingoes. Why I'm fucking deep. Waski with you coming in. in mm, fuck off. Start there again. To Brian Manning and Ruana, thank you very much, you absolute couple of legends, lovely couple from the Republic of Ireland have sent me this. Thank you very much, we're going to enjoy it, Waski we'll Review, come in a minute. Nice. Cheers Bernard. <laughs> Cheers Bernard. Brian. Cheers Brian. Oh mate. sorry, I thought it was Bernard. Ew, thank you. Once again, to Brian and Rowana from Ireland. Cheers, man, dingoes. Really appreciate it. Cheers, Bernard. <laughs> Bernard. Okay, then. <laughs> My mind's gone blank. That's the end of this week's review, guys. Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Doesn't get any better on that, that for sure. Oh, fucking hell. It's actually all right at the end, it like. <laughs> it's one of them ones where... Okay, then, man, dingoes. It's ten past midnight. Time to get some sleep. It's been an absolutely fantastic night. Me and the two Chrises have had a brilliant time. Okay, then, guys. I will see you first thing in the morning. At coffee time. We'll have a nice coffee and some porridge. Oh, matron, I'm going to stir the porridge. You better believe it. That was even fucking worse. That was shit. How are Dennis? Are oh, you some George Clooney? Okay then, my fan sexuals. Hope you enjoy them bloopers. Now it's time to answer a question. Now, if you've watched my channel a while, or if you've gone back, through the videos you'll know that my most popular video is the smallest roundabout one it's got over half a million views so a lot of people have asked how and why is that video so popular why has it got a lot more views than all my other videos well the answer is pretty simple i haven't got a clue i don't know how that happened i don't know why that happened I think my second most popular video is the, the McDonald's camp one, where we've just been. I think that one's got 160,000 views. And like I say, the roundabout one's got 560,000 views. I don't know, it just happened totally out of the blue. Um, I'd been making camping videos for a while. I already had loads on YouTube. And... Me ones where I camp in the Lake District, they only got like 500 views. Every now and again, I'd get 1k and I'd be like, yes, get in. I've got 1k views. Um, I did do a few stealth camping videos before that one. Just a few. I'd done one where I camped behind the factory, behind the bus, um, behind the bins, next to the stadium of light. Uh, I'd done the running track one with a little mick. And them videos did okay. They've got more views than the ones where I'm camping out in the wild. But nothing 
like the views I'm getting now. Then I'd done that roundabout one and for some reason it just took off. It just it went through the roof. I haven't got a clue. I'm still scratching my head now wondering why. But I'm certainly not complaining because that video is what brought most of you to my channel. All you absolute fantastic subscribers. And I thank you so much for subscribing and for watching. But yeah, <laughs> I'm still puzzled. I haven't got a clue. Um, to be honest, I'm amazed. I'm amazed anyone watches because a lot of channels, you know, they've got fancy cameras and the editing's great. And, uh, you know, they're trying to make everything so perfect where this is just, it's just a basic channel of a bloke that works in a factory out camping <laughs> with little Mick or the two Chris's and we normally get drunk and have a laugh. But obviously I must be doing something right people enjoy it and I enjoy making the videos that's probably what's working the fact that I'm just a normal bloke I think this is where it is I think it's just the fact that I'm a normal bloke I give no bullshit I get out there I enjoy it and um, there's nothing fancy is there that's what I think anyway that's what I think guys um, what's my plans for the next few videos well, next week I'm going to go back out on another stealth camp. No, sorry. This weekend, so this weekend I'm going to go back out on another stealth camp by myself. Next week, I think I'll do another Friday video. Maybe some more stealth cooking. I might be able to get a little Mick or even Mrs. Blot to come along. So I've got some company on the cooking one. And then next weekend... Little Mick has promised me he's coming out on a stealth camp. So that's something to look forward to. I'll probably get a few shitty comments for this video, for this video I'm making now. I'm waiting for a few. There's always a few people who'll say, oh, well, that camp wasn't very good, Mandingo, compared to your stealth camping. Well, it's not supposed to be. The stealth camping videos are always on a Sunday. And if that's all you like, that's fair enough. Just tune in on Sunday for the stealth camping. These Friday videos... They're just a little bit of everything, a bit of a mix match. Sometimes I'll be doing this, showing you some old camping spots and talking shite. Sometimes I'll be stealth cooking in the van. Sometimes I might do something weird, like cooking in the toilets. There'll be more weird stuff coming in the, in the next few weeks, guys. Sometimes I might just be away with the family and I'll make a little video. Yep, the Friday videos are just going to be a mix match of different things. Kind of just a warm-up video for the main one on Sunday night. And the Sunday night video is the main shit stain. Oh yes, you better believe it is man dingoes. However then, let's get back home, get in the old Van Dingo and do the world famous Waski review. You know makes sense. Oh yes, you know what time it is man dingoes. Waski time. And this is what I've got for this little wee view. Arden American Highland Single Malt Scotch Waski. Kindly given to me from a lovely couple by the name of James and Laura. Cheers, you couple of legends. Very much appreciated. By the names, James and Laura, I meant to say, not by the name. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay, the man dingoes. Let's get this popped in the old famous cup dingo. Right. Never had this before. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. I've never even heard of it. Ardner Merkin Single Malt Waski. Let's give it a bash. And let's get the old bakeroonie in it. A little bit smoky. Oh, and I'm getting a nice, fresh sea air smell. Maybe the slightest hint of sherry, which is great because I love a little bit sherry. And maybe there's a little bit ginger coming through there in the smell. Very nice. Good start. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Lice. 
Mmm. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot going on with that one. And first of all, it's got a bit of a kick to it. It's a little bit smoky. Oh, it's not a light smoke, but it's not a really strong one either. Like, you know, you get the strong ones. I think the when it's too smoky, it can ruin the whiskey a bit. It's just in the middle. But yeah, it's got a little bit of a kick to it with that ginger spice there. Lovely. A little bit of a, a little bit of a citrus thing going on. And I'm also getting a nice bit of sea salt. So I had that nice, fresh sea air smell. And I'm getting a lovely bit of sea salt in the taste. Lots of flavours. Mm. It's a very elegant waski. I must say It was like a nice aftertaste of like chocolate and like a little bit tobacco, like a nice little bit of a tobacco taste coming through with chocolate. Very nice indeed. Mandingos down the hatch. Mmm. Well, guys, first time I've had that and I've really enjoyed it. And I think I'll buy a bottle of that in the future. Thanks to James and Laura for that. Arden and Merkin, Highland, single malt Scotch Whiskey. Absolutely top draw. I am going to give that a big fat nine. I think it's a little bit better than a nine. A little bit better than nine. I'm going to give it a 9.1 out of 10 dingo mandingos. Oh, yes. You better believe I am. <laughs> Absolute quality. Highland single malt from the Western Highland. Brilliant. I will definitely buy one of them again. Well, guys, that's the end of this week's Waski with you. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious Waski tasting. And that's the end of this video. I will see you Mandingos on Sunday night. Hopefully you'll come and join me on another epic stealth camp. Oh, yes, you better believe you will. See you on Sunday, guys. Right. Oh, amazing. Today, I'm just out for a walk with my dog, Dennis. And I'm going to show you three of my previous, previous. Oh, start that again. <laughs> Yeah, so like I said, when me and Mick got here, there was already people running. Obviously, we didn't want to just get straight on the... On the... Oh, fuck off. <laughs>